Hi everyone, welcome to this video on creating a React app and adding the React stock chart component. In general, stock charts are used to visualize how the stock price of a company changes over time. Look at this example, a candlestick chart is used to analyze stock price differences and a vertical crosshair line displays values at the bottom for easy comparison. You can choose specific time ranges using a range selector and select different periods using a period selector for analysis. In this video, you will see how to add the stock chart component to an app and a few of its basic features like crosshair lines and tooltips. I will also explain how to hide the range selector and add a custom period selector. Before proceeding, ensure you have installed the latest versions of Node.js and React. I'll be using Visual Studio Code as my editor and showing the output in the Chrome browser. First, I'll open Visual Studio Code, create a new application using the npx create react app command, and name it, my React app. Since I want to create the app with TypeScript, I add the template TypeScript. It will take a few seconds to create the project. I navigate to the newly created React app. To use the stock chart component, I type the npm install. At syncfusion slash ej2 react charts hyphen hyphen save command now the package will be installed before using a sync fusion component i must register the trial license key i open the index.tsx file and import the register license method from the sync fusion ej2 base package Using this method, I register the trial license key. To generate a trial key, refer to the link in the description below. The Syncfusion React license key registration is mandatory. Next, I open the app TSX file and remove the default code snippets. Then, import the React stock chart component from the Syncfusion EJ2 React charts package and add the stock chart component tag. Let's see how to display the chart with a single candle series. To add a candle series, I import the candle series module from the chart package and inject it into the services. Then, add the series collection to the stock chart by defining the stock chart series collection directive tag, which contains n number of stock chart series definitions. Here, I plan to add a single candle series chart, so inside the tag let me add a single stock chart series directive tag with the property type. Here, I set the chart series type as candle to render the candle series chart. To use the stock chart series collection directive and stock chart series directive tags, I need to import them from the Sync Fusion Charts package. In this demo, I will show Apple's stock price in the stock chart with a candle series. So, let me add a new file called data.tsx and define the JSON object as chart data with fields like open, high, low, and so on. I import this chart data from the data file here and assign it to the data source property. Next, map the fields from JSON object to the chart series. I assign this date field from the chart data to the x axis using the xName property. Since the data source field names are the same as the property names in the field settings, it is not necessary to map them. In the case of different field names, it should be explicitly mapped. As you can see, I have used the date value here. I import the date time module and the required modules for the stock chart component from the EJ2 React Charts package and inject them into the services. Next, I need to define the CSS. 
I can either import the React Stock Chart component CSS from the app CSS file or refer the CDN link in the index.html file. To make it simple, I'm going to refer the CDN link, so let me open the index.html file and refer the CDN link inside the head section, which includes the combined CSS references of all the essential JS2 React components. Now, save the changes and run the application using the npm start command. See the stock chart rendered. In this candle series, you'll notice that some rectangles are filled, while others are not, as the closing and opening prices vary based on the time. In the toolbar, you have the option to change the indicators and also to select any period. Now, let me demonstrate how to set a title for the chart. I set the title property to Stock Price Analysis. You can see the chart title, Stock Price Analysis. Next, I'll show you how to enable crosshair lines to display the access values. I add the crosshair property and set the enable property to true. By default, it only shows a vertical line. To show vertical and horizontal lines, I set the line type property to both. Then, I import the crosshair module from the EJ2 React Charts package and inject it into the services. Look at the candle series chart, showing vertical and horizontal crosshair lines indicating the data points X axis and Y axis. Also, I can enable crosshair tooltips to show X axis values. For that, first I add the primary X axis property and add the crosshair tooltip property and set the enable property to true. See the crosshair tooltip is displayed for the x-axis. To show more information about data points, I need to enable the tooltip property. To add a tooltip, I import the tooltip module from the EJ2 React Charts package. And then inject into the services. I add the tooltip property. And set the enable property to true. Now you can see a tooltip for every data point displaying additional information about them. By default, the range selector is enabled in the stock chart to select certain data points from an extensive collection of data. If you want to hide this range selector, set the enable selector property to false. See the chart now, the range selector is not displayed. By default, you can see period selector options to select and view data points of a particular period from a vast collection of data. There are options to choose a particular month range, a year, or the entire data. Apart from these options, you can also specify custom intervals for these period selectors. To add custom period selectors, set the period's property. Within this, set the selected property to true. The Syncfusion React stock chart comes with nine range interval types like auto, years, months, hours, days, etc. From these, I choose hours. Therefore, I set the interval type to hours. Then, I set the interval to 12 to specify the interval count. Also, I set the text property to 12 hours to add it as a display text. You can see the range set to 12 hours. To disable or hide these period selector options, set the enable period selector property to false. See the chart now, the period selector is not displayed. In this video, I have shown you how to add the stock chart component to a React application and a few of its basic features like crosshair lines and tooltips. I have also explained how to hide the range selector. If you would like to see a working example of this, you can download it from the GitHub link in the description below.
I have also shared a link to learn about obtaining a free license key to use our React Suite if you are eligible for our community license. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel.